Hello guys, welcome back. Now let's have a look over our new ADC that is analog to digital converter and it is MCP3428 and to search this sensor let's roll upon the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to type in for the sensor for the ADC exactly and it is MCP3428 and by searching it let's see what we got here as you notice it's a 16 bit 4 channel analog to digital converter and these are some more prominent features of this very ADC and you can also purchase the sensor from this side right from here furthermore I will be interfacing the ADC MCP3428 with an Arduino Nano and for that I require a code for the Arduino and let's go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample you can get the code sample as a zip file right from here and also you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there is control everything community after that let's have a look over the hardware connections we need and let's see how to do that now in the hardware connection setup part or uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen next we require an I2C sheet just like this now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So for that gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection like that. For the power up function what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here the power jack. Next this here is our analog to digital converter that is MCP3428. And this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure that while making a connection with the cable and the ADC, the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the ADC and similarly to the ground terminal of the I2C sheet. So these are the connections we required for this hardware. Now let's proceed with the code. Alright, for the interfacing part, first of all we have to log into github.com and then we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen after that let's proceed to the sensor or the ADC specifically that is MCP3428 and here we have the Arduino code but before that let's proceed to the instructions part for the Arduino code and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software on our machine and this link uh, Arduino.cc will have all the instructions, the steps to install the Arduino software and as you see we have to download the Arduino software from here and it runs on Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. It's your choice. After getting the installation step we have to download or get pull the code and we have to run the program by double clicking on it and after that we have to compile and upload the code on the online Arduino IDE and we have to see the output onto the serial monitor. So fulfilling the instructions part we need to get back to the Arduino code which is a .ino extension file. Now here we are with the code and we see and it's a, we have included wire.h library as you notice and we have defined the address of the sensor the ADC that is 0x68. Now in the word setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with set baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing section part as you notice we are going to select the configuration command continuous conversion mode channel 1 12 bit resolution that comprises of 0x10. As you notice in the white row function we have only signed integer data to for array of 2 data as you notice and we have selected data register 0x00. From this very register we are requesting and reading 2 bytes of the data as you notice and then we have a conversion of the data into 12 bits and we have followed the procedures clearly defined or described in the data sheet for ADC that is MCT3428. At the very end of our code we have to display the output data onto the serial monitor which is exactly the digital value of analog input. So this is how the code is. Now let's look how it works. Now for the working part first step is to copy this entire code onto the screen and then go to the Arduino terminal. In this terminal we need to create a new file first of all as you know we paste the entire code here and after that we save it and by the name mcp3428 and let's see how to compile and verify it. It's compiling and it's done. After that we need to upload the code. 
the code is being uploaded and it might take a while but it will be over soon and it's done so we have to check for the output and it will be displaying on the serial monitor so let's open it up and we have the digital value of analog input it's coming zero which means nothing is connected or the, the ends are grounded but instead when I try to connect a double A battery of 1.5 volt we have the digital value of analog input that will be 1021 or 1022 which is extremely constant it means the cell is connected across the ends of the terminal for the sensor so this means the sensor is working as per we desire it's working fine and now let's have a look over the applications and the benefits regarding this sensor the MCP3428 is a low noise and high accuracy 16-bit Delta Sigma analog to digital converter family member of MCP342X series. This device can convert analog inputs to digital code with up to 16 bits of resolution. Due to high accuracy in analog conversions, the applications of this ADC are portable instrumentation and consumer goods, temperature sensing with RTD, thermistor and thermocouple, brick sensing for pressure, strain and force, base scales and battery fuel gauge, factory automation equipment. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.